Water, water everywhere, and not a drop fit to drink. Parents are afraid to give their children a glass of tap water. Our oceans, rivers, and streams are all polluted to varying degrees. And yet, next to oxygen, water is the most vital factor in the survival of humankind. It's amazing to think that over 70% of our bodies is made up of water. Imagine, if you will, that there may be one cause for nearly all disease. Imagine for one minute that the water we consume may have an enormous impact on the aging factor each of us must face. Unbelievable, but very possibly true. From a newborn child's first breath to the old man's last gasp, the one element we need most and take for granted so readily is water. For the next few minutes, this program will try to unveil the secrets about water and what we must do to ensure that the water we so desperately need for good health and survival must be the purest possible source. Daily there are a growing number of newspaper articles, editorials, and scientific reports warning us that the water we drink is indeed of questionable quality. Continually scientific studies show that people suffer from hundreds of conditions brought on by drinking water saturated with magnesium carbonate, calcium carbonate, and other inorganic hard materials. We are also being warned to boil our tap water due to an influx of potentially deadly bacteria and viruses that can and has already afflicted many people. Are we willing to do that each and every day for the rest of our lives? From the majesty of the mighty Niagara Falls to the smallest stream in the country, pollution has made its presence known and has become a growing concern with health organizations and governments around the world. Did you know that there are over 60,000 different chemicals that can affect our drinking water? And that traces of over 1,000 of them can be found in every cup of tap water we drink. It begins so innocently in the clouds, high up in the sky is pure water. But as it descends towards the earth, it begins to pick up everything in its path. As it falls on the ground and begins to move along the earth, it collects inorganic hard materials that cannot be ingested in our bodies along with poisonous chemicals that gently make their way into many of our vital and major organs, having a negative short and long-term impact on our health. The editors of Time magazine felt so strongly about the severity of the problem connected to the quality of drinking water that they, for only once in the entire history of the magazine, ran this frightening cover twice. Frankly, our contaminated and polluted water problem has gotten so out of hand that governments do not have the financial resources to cure the problem. Some, in fact, are telling us to take the matters into our own hands. Indeed, they are trying to place a band-aid on the problem by installing new purification plants. Nevertheless, water is still distributed to our home through water pipes decades old that are deteriorating and incorporate lead solder, which has been linked to various diseases. Further, they add chlorine to the water to counteract the many new viruses and bacteria that are introduced into our society each year. I don't know about you, but personally I hesitate to drink water that contains a poison no matter what the amount. Have you ever looked at the bottom of your tea kettle? That hardness accumulated at the bottom also has the ability to attach itself to our arteries, in our joints, and within our kidneys, contributing to arthritis and kidney stones. It is estimated that the average person will consume 450 pounds of this matter in a lifetime of drinking tap water. The World Health Organization has estimated that 75% of all cancers may originate in our water and environment. So what are we to do? Make a decision based upon sound facts and information. There are four common alternatives for the treatment of tap water, each having benefits and limitations but distillation is the best way of correcting drinking water pollution. You could use carbon filters, but they are very selective and do not remove a very wide range of contaminants. And, as with any system using filters, they become less effective over time and need to be replaced, forcing the consumer to incur extra costs. Another popular alternative is a system called reverse osmosis, or RO. It's effective at the onset, but becomes less effective over time. The RO system uses high pressure to force water through a series of filters. The intention is that the membrane holds back the contaminants while letting water through. But filters need to be replaced, water pressure needs to be accurate, and most assuredly should not be used on water that harbors bacteria. Also, for every gallon of water that goes through an RO system, 4 to 12 gallons go down the drain as wastewater. If a family used 4 gallons of RO water every day, 
they would weigh 17,520 gallons per year. Many consumers choose to buy bottled water, as witnessed by the fact that this is the fastest growing beverage product in North America. However, regulations governing bottled water, although getting better, are still very loose and enforcement of regulations is inconsistent. So what are you really getting when you purchase bottled water? Have the bottles been cleaned properly? Where did it originate? Has it been treated? How long has it sat on the shelf? Is the water you're taking home of the quality promised? Important questions to ask for the health of your family. The final and best choice of drinking water uses the process of steam distillation. According to the Department of Agriculture, distillation is the only proven way of correcting drinking water pollution. Ironically, to solve our drinking water problems, we must turn to a process that is as old as man himself. What is distillation, or distilled water? Distillation duplicates Mother Nature's method of purifying water. As tap water is boiled, steam rises, separating itself from contaminants, bacteria, viruses, organic and inorganic solids. As this hot steam rises, it is collected and condensed through a cooling process as pure water. Such natural purification removes more than 99% of all contaminants, including bacteria and viruses, which the other purification processes have difficulty removing consistently. There is nothing in distilled water that can harm you. The easiest and most telling test you can witness is this. Place two bowls of water before your pet, one filled with tap water, the other with distilled water. Now watch what happens. Animals have natural instincts as to what foods or water may be better for them. As you can see, their natural instincts lead them to distilled water every time. Try the experiment for yourself, and then trust your natural instincts in making a decision. Distilled water is the greatest solvent on Earth. It is the only water that can be ingested without damaging body tissues. It acts as a magnet carrying the impurities out of your system. Distillation provides water that is chemical and mineral free. Did you know that it is the only water used medically for cleaning cuts and abrasions, dialysis machines, sterilizers, respirators, vaporizers, humidifiers, and IVs? And only distilled water is used for infant care and formula. Here are some other things to consider about distilled water. It produces better tasting tea or coffee using about a third less coffee beans or tea leaves. Better tasting juices and drinks because the chlorine has been removed. Wine is made using distilled water. The famous racehorse secretariat was never given anything but distilled water to drink. Water is by far the largest component of your body. Water is required to keep our body at a normal temperature. To lubricate our joints, heart, and vital organs. It's needed to eliminate poisons and toxins from our system and it provides a medium to transport important nutrients and oxygen throughout our body. Over 70% of our body is made up of water. Our brain is 75% water, our lungs 90% water, our blood 82% water, our muscles 75% water, and even our bones are 25% water. Knowing that our bodies require this amount of water wouldn't you agree that it is of vital importance to place only good quality water in our bodies? The answer to the question is yes. In the future, you will be able to find steam distilled water in restaurants, health clubs, daycare centers, and office towers. Who would not desire the very best quality drinking water for their clients and family members? Quite simply and truthfully, steam distilled water produced through it will meet a growing number of people's drinking water needs in the years to follow. Our once clean water supply is fast becoming overwhelmed by agricultural parasites, toxic industrial wastes, and the substances added by water treatment plants. But you have the opportunity to eliminate all risks in your water supply through the distillation process for your health and your families. The choice is clear. Distillation makes your water safe to drink.